Hey there, friends. What's up? My new workshop is waiting for some fresh, off-the-wall projects, and I'm hoping to move in soon. No beating around the bush, let's dive right in. Got a super cool idea today, something I haven't seen anywhere else, and I want to bring it to life. So, what's on the agenda today? We'll be using whatever I can get my hands on so I'm gonna work with this old 2mm thick sheet metal for a prototype. Also gonna use some empty tin cans for an experiment, sorta like a test run. I'll cut some pre-measured pieces out of the sheet, clean them up to look nice and tidy, all on the workbench. From the sheets, I'll make a couple of tubes of different sizes and two circles that'll serve as the bottom and lid of the contraption. I'll add several slits at the bottom part for air to enter, and they'll also act as legs. I've already welded the smaller tube to the bottom, and I'll make longitudinal cuts on its upper half. Thought about making many thin ones, but decided on a few larger ones for better vaporization. My wild beast, Monia, is already thrilled about spring coming and can't wait for our camping trip. Started working on a test version out of tin cans alongside. All the sweet peaches on a plate, and cans on the workbench. I'm making holes at the top and bottom of the cans for the small tube, ensuring good airflow. For assembly, I used two component epoxy. Trying to make all connections airtight. Cut everything out and, after a dry fit, welded the bottom and the small central tube. The filler for the working model will be ceramic wool, snagged some on a deal, and it came in handy. Filling the stove's interior with it. It's got to absorb and retain high heat well. Next, I'll weld the lid on and add a stand for the cookware made of thick wire on top. The test version will be filled with insulation stone wool. Hoping it's good for the capillary effect, we'll see how it performs in tests. Everything's being glued together now, and for legs, I'm using screw cutoffs. Hey, it's a quick and dirty solution. The construction. I designed and printed a 3D model of this stove for a clearer demonstration of its internals. Not the whole model, just a half section. Removed all support structures, and here's how the burner stove looks in cross section. Initially planned to add a filler neck with a cap on the side, but decided to skip it for now. 
might not work at all and need redoing, but if needed, welding on a neck is always an option. You know, I'm a fan of all kinds of burners, stoves, and heaters, just love them. Got lots that I use all the time. Also, got many projects for making stoves. Made solid fuel ones with pellets, wood granules from compressed sawdust, with a really unique internal combustion design pellets as fuel are just awesome. Also made a pyrolysis stove for burning secondary wood gases, works great on twigs and cones too. Even made a burner for used oil, using water for a reactive burning of the waste oil turned out wickedly powerful, maybe even too much so. Made a burner for a liquid fuel boiler too, with an evaporator that turns liquid fuel into gas, cycling itself just like a blow lamp. Both versions are ready, just need painting and testing. Now, my idea involves the internal combustion of liquid fuel vapors and a through design of the stove. Liquid fuel is poured at the bottom, could be bio fireplace fuel or alcohol, I think other types of liquid fuel could work too. Testing will be done on the workbench it's too bright outside pouring a bit of fuel and starting them up one by one. Such a cool and unique project today. Ended up with a reusable finish candle running on liquid fuel. You can DIY this camping stove at home with readily available materials. Using eco-friendly fuel, it could be used for cooking instead of a gas stove or fireplace at home. And having adjustable power is a huge plus. It'll be an indispensable helper on hikes and nature trips. It'll cook your food, light up the area, and keep you warm in the cold. Just need to add a fuel neck and a top damper for snuffing out the flame. Friends, the best way to thank the author is just a simple like. Share the video links on your social networks, let it help people. All useful links from the video, as always, are in the description. Wishing you and your loved ones well. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the channel. Catch you later.